name is Heather Ibarra and um, I'm age 42. I have an eight hour work day uh, from home uh, and I am pretty busy when I'm not at home. I have a lot of hobbies that keep me busy throughout the weekend and even after work. I'm Armando Ibarra, uh, 45. I'm a mechanic, truck and uh, bus mechanic. Um, yeah, just the last few years we've been, oh, actually more five years, we've been concentrating on our health and stuff and trying to get a little bit more healthier now that we've already raised our kids and did their thing. So now we're concentrating on us. I had the whole high blood pressure, overweight, uh, diabetes, cholesterol, everything, all the diseases uh, associated with, you know, bad eating, constantly taking pills and stuff like that with our other medical uh, practices where they would just, you know, uh, give us pills and pills and pills. And, you know, they would tell us about uh, nutrition, but not where it was really detailed like lifestyle. My grandmother who lived with me, uh, she uh, passed away uh, from complications of diabetes. And um, I watched her and uh, she was here at my home uh, when she passed. And uh, just watching the suffering, I knew that I didn't want to go through that type of suffering uh, later on in my life. I just knew I had to do something uh, so that way I, I wouldn't have to do um, that. I wouldn't have to struggle and have to put my children through what I, I had to see. Depend on somebody, you know, try to try to take care of ourselves. I also had two parents uh, who both. Uh, uh, had cancer. Uh, my mother had her first bout of breast cancer when she was age 30, uh, which she's a survivor. Uh, and then again at age uh, 62. And uh, that second time too, it really, that's the one that really scared me uh, the most. And I knew I had to change something because I, you know, I'm at risk. And then we do want to be there for our grandchildren. You know, we want, that was a, another thing too. My parents and his parents helped us when we were working um, with childcare. So having them around it, you know, we want to do the same thing for our, our grandchildren. We, we want to be there uh, for our grandchildren and not uh, be ill. You know, we want to be able to uh, run after them and take them places and, and yes, and, and be active. Um, it would be so disheartening if we couldn't do that type of thing because we didn't take care of ourselves. I knew I needed guidance and it was hard even uh, in these larger um, medical groups finding a doctor to support us. The first visit, we walked out of there smiling. Oh, we were, we, we were could happy. not we were believe it. And I, that's the first thing I told you. Did you notice he did not push med medication? He didn't push no medication. He says, let's, let's try the the whole food, which we did, we did the whole food. He offered the whole food and went that and it did, it did numbers for us. I mean, we, and I told her right when we walked out the door, I said, did you notice he didn't push any kind of medication? We brought it up and he did mention, you know, sometimes in extreme cases, you do need it to help you bring it down, but he didn't push it. He says, let's try this first. And, and, um, it worked for us. I, I really felt like it was therapy yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in yeah. a way, um, uh, because you did get to talk about uh, what you do throughout your week uh, to promote your, your, you know, your stress levels, um, how to keep those lower. Um, we do exercise every morning. We take about four mile walk. So we're not stressing our body out every morning, but it does not only help, um, you know, our getting that goal or physical, exercise goal, physical, it's also mental. but the mental go goal of just being outdoors and, you know, taking a nice deep breath before you start your day. Um, those kind types of things, uh, we knew um, Dr. Dysinger was going to be happy to hear that, you know, this is something we want to do, um, but we just need a support. And he was there to support us, uh, especially on our food journey, because again, um, we were, we were still dabbing into a lot of sweets and, and, you know, he, he did bring up the process thing, right. which was the best thing I've heard was, you know, try to keep that process, the processed food, you know, at a minimum as possible. And, uh, he did promote that a lot, which helped us a lot also. And I was curious, I, I wanted to get into meditation. Um, I wanted to try fasting, but you know, all of these fasting 
diets, extreme. you can They're find extreme. them online. Yeah. However, it, everything is ask your doctor, you know, check with your doctor and make sure this is right. Um, but I needed someone to hold my hand through that. And Dr. Dysinger was able to do that. And he helped both of us. Yeah. And we actually did our first fast a couple months ago and we were like really yeah, pleased. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice. I talked to you, you know, you think they say, you know, do it uh, every or three times a, a year, but I told her, are you ready for another one after <laughs> about two months after doing that? I could never have guessed I would have uh, that kind of support, you know, with the doctor, uh, just knowing, you know, how it's many so years. Personal. So yes. one on one with him and it's, that's what's good. And he gives us our time when you have your appointment, mm -hmm. plenty of time to talk, whatever you need it, you know, and it doesn't have to be medical. It could be just what's going on and, you know, what's changing your feelings or however, you know, stress levels and stuff like that. It's not just about your body. It's about, like I said, your mind and, and everything else. I did like the fact that we, if we needed to talk to Dice, Dr. Dysinger, we could. And there were different ways if we didn't want to, you know, to pick up the phone, then we use our app and, and ask him a question if we needed to uh, or email. But I mean, really, we've never had any issues communication wise with him at all. You know, you think anything that's healthy, it's, it's really expensive. Health food, it is, no, lifestyles is, you know, it's nothing extreme and they don't force you to do anything. It's all, you know, voluntary, of course. And it just, I, to, to me, it was surprising. It's not so medical. It's more like personal, I guess you would say. When we do, do cook, we cook with um, thinking of how many ingredients. So, yeah. you know, we, we look at the ingredients. If we do buy something that's um, in a box. We do, we, we, he did guide us too, like, you know, about not eating out of a box. If it's, if it is out of a box, look at the ingredients, if it's more than three, or if it's something you can't even read what is on the ingredients. If you don't understand it, it yeah, it's don't. probably not good for you. <laughs> uh, we did move our pastas to the lentil pastas uh, because we do like to have pasta from time to time. And so do the kids. Uh, the family does like, you know, our pasta nights and uh, finding those lentil pastas was like amazing. Yeah. And the lasagna you can make with uh, lentil pasta is, is so much more tastier than than the actual lasagna so we learned that and the whole family comes over when we make lasagna and um and they they ask are you making lasagna tonight and it's, all, it's all <laughs> a healthy one and they they can't even tell but i just knew i i had to show them that yes i can still include all of the same spices and the same flavors and and come up with these amazing dishes and i think that was the fun part about this change too was um i wasn't bored with my cooking anymore uh, i was getting so really many, so many different vegetables that we didn't even we, we wouldn't right. even touch we thought they were just garnishing and we're like oh you eat you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> so yeah it was we're like we, i tell her all the time too we gave up maybe you know five items but we added maybe 40 50 more you know vegetables and stuff like that so yeah it was it was we, I, I, we don't miss anything. I'll tell you that. No. Yeah, and when I was first became diabetic, well, it was in 2010, you know, I was at 298, almost 300 pounds. So we went vegan from there. And then, but like I said, when I went to lifestyles is when they kind of, I probably dropped another, I think it was like 20 pounds or so since, you know, kind of fine tuning it. The, the big change I noticed, uh, was I lost weight immediately. Uh, and I drank a lot more water. So a lot of the weight I, I took off, um, you know, it, I felt that right away um, with my clothing. I lost, altogether, um, I lost about 45 pounds. When I, when I went, went vegan, it did come down, but it was always controlled and it was a high controlled diabetes. Um, with Dr. Dysinger's guidance, I got it basically down to a 5.6. So I kind of, he told me, I kind of reversed it and just keep up with it and I should be able to say I'm not diabetic, but I also got rid of my cholesterol, my high blood pressure. I haven't taken a pill in two years. I haven't taken a pill of aspirin maybe once every once in a while or a tiny law, you know, just something, but rarely take any kind of medication. So that was my, my best thing was no more medication and not being afraid of, of test results. I mean, I've, you know, blood, blood results, you think, oh, you get all nervous on how it's going to come, but now it's, uh, it's gone. I don't have to worry about my blood results. And stuff. So my, my benefits were getting rid of all my, uh, my ailments, basically, my diseases. I immediately uh, saw the difference in my uh, in my energy levels and my skin. Uh, also, uh, 
physically, I was able to do a lot more in a day. Uh, and I was, I looked forward to waking up every morning. If uh, we hadn't uh, found Dr. Dysinger, I, I mean, I would probably be a, still a, a junk food vegan and, uh, and not knowing that I was, you know, hurting my body this time, you know, all this time. We'd probably be in and out of the hospital and, uh, just, just not healthy at all with the same, taking the same medications and, you know, going, we don't go to the, we don't go to the doctors as much as we used to before. So it's, it's not, I mean, I would say, you know, we would be in poor health. Uh, before <laughs> lifestyles we had, I think I went through probably four different doctors and all of them were just pushing medication, pushing medication. So I don't think we would ever change. If, if you guys don't go away, we're, we're here also. We'll be, we'll be lifestyles for, till we grow old, I guess you could say. You know, you feel the motivation after you, you've been there at least a couple of months you know that, okay, I can't let, I can't let the doctor down. <laughs> or make him proud. Yeah. So we see a lot of people, especially our family, um, that hasn't seen us in a while. And they're so surprised to see how we look now. Um, I just want to be able to hand out, you know, a business card and say, look, here, this is my doctor. Um, you should really join this group. Uh, you won't be disappointed. <laughs>